Hey guys, we are back with some more Toronto GM mode, and last time we did the contracts, well, the draft and the contracts, and here we're in free agency, and I don't want to make any moves in free agency, but rather uh, some, <laughs> yeah, some trades, but before we do that, something I realized I forgot to do last episode was check out the uh, top five teams in the draft, which I actually wrote down were Boston, Vancouver, Tampa Bay, Detroit, and... Uh, Arizona. I thought that's an Anaheim there. Uh, shows how great my handwriting is. All right, so let's go to Boston. Let's see. Oh yeah, it was Valeno. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So four and a half gold star playmaker, fifty-five overall. So he's gonna take a while. Uh, let's check. I guess. To, well, we'll do Arizona since they're right there. Uh, let's see. Potential. Potential. Who'd they get? They get a goalie? Yeah, they probably got a goalie. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it might have been this guy. Hold on, let's see. Uh, 2016, fifth overall now. Well, actually, wait a minute. Yeah, they did pick fifth. Alright, so they got this guy. Uh, decent goaltender, actually. Bullying. Very nice for them. Uh, let's see. Detroit. And this, I believe, was the fourth pick. They got uh, this guy, Fahervery. <laughs> the thing I couldn't pronounce. Well, yeah, yeah, he's, or what? Rather, the guy I couldn't pronounce. Uh, yeah, he's 51 overall. He's gonna take a while as well before we see him in the league, and. Tampa Bay and Vancouver. Let's see. Uh, I wouldn't imagine it was a skater. Unless it was this guy. Bright Clayton. Uh, no. Ooh. Uh, no, it appeared. Okay, so I got confused on the Arizona draft, it appears. Um. Oh, was it Comtois? Yeah, it was Comtois. Okay. Or was it? I, I don't even know, boys. I'm going crazy. Lundstrom. Yeah, it was Lundstrom. They picked fifth three years in a row. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Comtois. That was 2017. Fifth overall. <laughs> Lundstrom. Fifth overall. Excuse me. Oh, gosh. And then Bullion. Fifth overall in 2016. That's why I got confused. My God. Uh, Jesus, Arizona. Uh, okay, so Vancouver. Right. So I think it was Max Jones or is that? Yeah, that was 2016. Okay. Uh, yeah, Vancouver picked second overall, I believe. Nope. That was 2016. Uh, did they get a goaltender as well? Yeah, it might have been this guy. 2017 second round. This guy. 2017 first round third overall. <laughs> Where is their second overall pick from 2018? That was this guy, yeah. Third, third round. Uh, Sixth round. So they got good depth goaltender. At least. Who is uh, their first round pick from 2018? I cannot find it. Whatever, whatever. Uh, we all know <laughs> my history with Vancouver anyway, so we'll just throw that in the garbage right there. All right. So now we're going to get to the trades. I know exactly what trades I want to make. We're going to go to Boston here. And we are going to add Chris Stewart and a second for Jimmy Hayes. And uh, we're pretty much going to be replacing our fourth line because Hayes, he can score some uh, big goals. <laughs> well, he got looks like he got swept in the playoffs last year, or the year before, rather. But still, uh, Hayes, I think he can get it done. 
I, I don't feel comfortable trading away the second if I'm not getting anything in return. Let's see if we could get a third back. All right. What about a fourth? No. Okay. We'll just get Jimmy Hayes. <laughs> I tried, boys. I tried. And we'll go to New Jersey. And we are going to get Kyle Palmieri because he's 27. Perfect age. He doesn't have a group. Uh, he doesn't have a great contract, but it's not bad either. Uh, he's poised. He's <laughs> he can score a lot of points, obviously. Although I, I, I'm my money is on that he was on New Jersey first or second line the past couple of years. So yeah, but we're gonna get him, and we are gonna trade Martin and Gauthier. Cause okay, first of all, I. <laughs> I want my centers to have good puck skills, and this guy, <laughs> he's already an 82 overall, and his, nothing in his puck skills is even above a 79, so no thank you. And I mean, he's, he's really, it just, he's a good prospect and everything, but he's already 23, already 82 overall, and his puck skills are just not on par for what I want them to be. He does have a, a bit of trade value on him, and uh, New Jersey does want him. And we still have him as an RFA. So if we can trade him to New Jersey while he's on that RFA, while he's not asking for, you know, big money that I don't want to give him, we can still get something for him. And we are going to be getting a third from New Jersey as well. So hopefully to make up a little bit from that second, we have to give up for Hayes. And there you go. There's the two trades I wanted to make. So <laughs> we're down to 1.4 in salary cap. So that's... Uh, we all I can say is we better make a long run this year, boys. I mean, look at our roster. We got sort by overall. <laughs> we got Kadri, JVR, Johnson, first line or whatever. Second line, Nylander, or it could be first line, uh, Kucherov, Goldobin. Third line, Griffith, Kalorn, Paul Meyer slash Leipzig slash Hayes slash Holland. <laughs> so we. we like, pretty much our whole fourth line could be our third line, so... And M Mitch Marner's down there as well. Honestly, I don't know if Marner is going to grow anymore or not. I don't think so, honestly. Just because of his progression from last season. Didn't go over too well. I mean, we'll keep, we'll keep him on board. We're not going to trade Marner just yet, but I feel like he's, you know... He might be like 83, 84 overall at best. But, you know, by the time he hits 25, 26. So, yeah, with that, we're going to sim free agency. And uh, see the jumps in overall and just everything else. I don't know. It might have been a better idea to honestly just, just wait for those trades until uh, after free agency. Although I didn't really want to take the chance on Boston or New Jersey not wanting any of those players after free agency when, you know, they could have signed a player like those that they wanted. So I sort of just wanted to get those trades out of the way while I could because I got a lot. I think I got way more value out of Martin than I should have. But, you know, New Jersey wanted him, so... <laughs> Uh, and, and I didn't want Gauthier, so, and I, I wanted Palmieri, and uh, a third, that's always nice too, so I think it worked out for us, uh, so <laughs> we're, we're going we're gonna to see what happens. I do feel bad from taking Palmieri away from his home state, but, you know, we got to win. <laughs> got to do what you, do what you got to do. Uh, so, yeah, almost through free agency here, that was pretty fast actually maybe it's just the fact that I was talking or I don't know it seems like it always goes slower whenever I'm not talking but uh, there you go and we are into the next season so come on now yeah this is always the slowest part right here there you go transitioned into 2018 2019 all right so 38 wins I expect <laughs> far more than that especially if we're making the playoffs I mean my god Okay, so projections. What do we want, though? Like, defensemen? <laughs> All right, yeah. There's a top five here, but like, we're not really going to be drafting top five, I would imagine, for the rest 
rest of the GM mode unless we decide to do another blow up, which I don't think we can afford, honestly. All right, let's check out the jumps. Uh, who, yes, boys. Yeah, Nylander is on the first line. Nylander is on the first line, boys. 89 overall. And you know what? Ugh. Do we keep Kadri in that in that case? Because they're both playmakers. Ugh. I mean, I guess we in this case I see how we they, <laughs> we see how they do together. But if there's any problems, I think honestly, especially since the salary cap, I think. I would want to trade Kadri. He'd be like a trade deadline sort of trade. Oh goodness, why am I coughing a lot? Uh, but yeah, he'd be like a, a trade deadline sort of trade for a, uh, like a, just a 90 overall sniper. Um, so yeah, that'd be leave. Hold on, hold on. Sort by forwards. Let that leave JVR. Who, oh, hold on, hold on. What am I missing? Oh yeah, yeah. I just I completely forgot. I thought. Uh, Thought JVR would be on the second line. No, no. JVR, Kadri, Nylander is the first line. Kucherov, Johnson, Goldobin, the second line. Griffith, Leps, uh, Griffith, Kalor I kind of want to keep. I kind of want to keep that line together just because of the, what they did in the playoffs or what Griffith did in the playoffs specifically. If you look at that, he had 14 points in 16 games. So I want to keep the. Kind of want to keep the Griffith, Holland, Kalorn line together. And then just have Leipzig, Paul, Mary, Hayes on the fourth line. Leipzig can take a face-offs. <sighs> we have a deep team when it comes to uh, bottom six. It really, we really do. I mean, uh, these guys are so like all all six of these guys are completely interchangeable. Besides maybe Griffith, you know Griffith, he's he's for sure a third liner. But any of these five right here, Leipzig, Kaloran, Paul, Mary, Hayes, Holland, they could all be third or fourth line is for us so we have a lot of options I'm, I'm, and that's a good problem don't get me wrong uh but i would k prefer to keep that line together just because again just because of what it did in the playoffs and not to mention griffith actually had 55 points in the regular season as well so i kind of want to keep griffith getting that amount maybe see if he could grow up to a, like an 85 maybe he becomes trade bait later on if we don't win the stanley cup or something but no, nah, I, I I see I see Griffith staying for a long time here if he continues to boot, uh, blah, blah, produce like he has here. Um. So I guess we just need to roll with it until the trade deadline. We'll see what happens. Uh, defensively, I mean we're pretty much set. Yeah, Morgan Riley, Tyson Berry, Jared Norty, He's up to an 86. Gardner, Carrick, and Murphy. Yeah, I mean, really, <laughs> there's not much to touch about this roster right now. And then Ja Gibson stayed in the 88. Let's check out the Miners. Yeah, Marner's up to an 82. <laughs> I, you know what, let's just, uh, I don't know, boys. I'm so tempted just to let him tear up the AHL. But I know he's not going to grow that way, but w there's just no space on our roster for him right now. <laughs> there really isn't. We we have too many uh, already proven players who are going to be a part of our team for at least the next five years, you know? Especially when we win the Stanley Cup, so... Alright, well, first of all, let's get rid of the uh, <laughs> dead weight here. Jamie, uh, not Jamie Ben, Jordy Ben. Go down to the minors. And uh, Josh Lievo as well. There you go. That should be... That should be 12 right there. 1, 2, 3, 4... Uh, eight, twelve. There you go. And defense, yeah, six. Okay. And then goaltenders, yeah, no one down here grew. I'm re oh gosh, sorry boys. I'm really hoping that yeah, Dia or Raymakers. All right, so Raymakers is up to a seventy-three. That's why I didn't trade him. He's only twenty, so he <laughs> he could be in the NHL. Two years from now, he'll be 22, and he'll be most likely to be the backup. So that's not bad. I'm glad I didn't trade Raymakers. He had a huge two jumps for the for the past two seasons. Yeah, um, yeah. We really just need to roll with this team. There's not there's not what not much we can do. Uh, I do want to put Nylander up here. Goldobin, Johnson, Kucherov. Yep. All right. 
That looks good. That looks good. Lapsic Holland. No. Kalorn, Holland, Griffith. And and Griffith. Wait a minute. Was Griffith on the left wing last year? Or did I move him to the right wing? I can't remember. I think I moved him to the right wing. Yeah, because I saw a comment about that. And Lepsic. Yeah, we'll keep Lepsic in the center. I'm pretty sure he has the best faceoffs of these three. Yeah, Hayes has a 60. Paul Mary. He has a 70. Yeah, Lepsic's the best faceoffs. But who do we put on the left between Paul Mary and Hayes? Because I'm pretty sure they're both righties. All right, Paul Mary. His slap shot power needs to be a lot higher, man. He, <laughs> he's he's got a cannon on the power play. I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm thinking Hayes on the. Yeah, I'm thinking Hayes on the on the right. He's got the harder slap shot for some reason. I don't know why Paul Mary's is not at least an 88. I mean that, or maybe even a 90, 91. Like his his. <laughs> He's got a rocket of a slap shot, man. He really does. Uh, yeah, that looks good. F uh, five on five wise. Forwards anyway. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Th Do we go with the same combination that we did last year? <laughs> Do we go with two righties? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we'll we'll keep Murphy and Carrick together. Oh man, I might have to edit out. <laughs> The amount of golfing that, that this is freaking insane. Um, Jake Gardner, yeah, Tenorti. <sighs> Who did we have on the left last year? Was it Tenorti or Gardner? I kind of want to replicate that as best I can. I think it was Gardner because of his puck. Yeah, because of his puck skills. Uh, nope, nope, not doing that. Doing this. Okay, so what about Carrick? Ooh, yeah, Carrick. I think Carrick was on the right as well. I'm just going to make sure. Yeah, Carrick has the better puck skills than these righty. And then Murphy can take the slappers. Yep. All right. That'll be good. All right. Power play wise, I definitely want to stick to what we had last year. So Gardner, get off here. Pretty sure Kucherov was on here. But he's up here. I, I'm also pretty sure Griffith was here as well. What if we spread out the power play a little bit? Uh, no, I, I want to stick to five on five lines. I'll put yeah Kucherov back here where Gardner is, and I'll put Griffith over here because that's what he was probably producing a lot from with Goldobin and Johnson. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. And then uh, I kind of want Carrick there, and then yeah, spread out the scoring a bit. Barry right there. Uh, no, switch Barry and Kucherov. Get the one tees. Other than that, that looks pretty good. What about Riley? Should I switch Riley and Carrick, boys? Uh, no, 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 no. Riley's got the much better <laughs> passing and puck control. No, thank you. I'll keep Riley on the left. He, so he can have that advantage passing-wise. And then Carrick can just... I don't, I don't know. He can pass it to... <laughs> Uh, they, they can just uh, this will be the passing line this will be the uh sniper line uh, I, I, don't, I don't i don't know I, don't, I really don't know what to think we're just gonna go with what we had last year for for the most part besides Nylander up here and actually Nylander might even <laughs> have been up here in the first place anyway but whatever um i'm scrambling at this point so kadri jvr no i want Nylander and kucherov kadri jvr Actually, I'd prefer Nylander up here with JVR, and then Kadri and Kucherov. Let's see how that works. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that for the four man. All right, penalty kill. <laughs> I really, I, I'm not sure if I want all of our stars there. I know I want to stick with Tenorti and Murphy, and then Riley and Barry on defense. I'm just not sure forward wise. I'm thinking Kalorn. And Johnson. From, so they have their Tampa Bay chemistry there. And maybe uh, Leipzig. No, nah, no, 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 no. Not Leipzig. Not Leipzig. No way. Uh, Palmieri. Palms might not be bad. What if we got the two, the two Jersey boys together on the same line? Uh, 
No, it's either one or the other. It's either JVR or uh, Palms there. I think I would honestly rather... Yeah, I would rather Palms than JVR. Get Palms some time. <laughs> She's on the fourth line there. Feel bad. Uh, let's see, let's see. Any any other ones? Any other people's on the uh, penalty kill? No, I, I, I would prefer to keep Nylander there. Nylander, Johnson, Kaloran, Palms. Uh, let's see. Johnson and Nylander. Switch these guys up. Four on four. Kadri, Kucherov, JVR, and Nylander. And I'll put Gardner on the left. Uh, I'll put Murphy on the left as well. And Johnson and Goldobin. That should be good. Extra attacker. Uh, Johnson and K Nylander. Wow, this is atrocious. The amount of times I'm coughing. And then Gibson and Nielsen. And then, yeah. We'll go Kadri, Goldobin. No, no. Riley, Kadri, Nylander, Goldobin, Johnson. There you go. And then the Marlies. Yeah. <laughs> Poor old Mitch Martyr down there. It's 82 overall, and he can't crack the Toronto Maple Leafs. And, uh, ooh, even Sean Day. He's, he's 81 overall. Uh, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. He's 80, he may be 81 overall, but no, I don't. <laughs> that census category is way too dismal to be in the NHL. Sorry, buddy. Yep, yeah, this is this is the team we're going with, boys. At least until the, tr the trade deadline where we may need to unload Kadri. All right. Uh, oh, wow, it's already been 22 minutes in this video. So we'll just simulate up to the preseason and... <laughs> Well, we'll simulate the preseason, then we'll end off the videos, uh, so, uh, <laughs> so we can save the start of the preseason, uh, regular season, rather, get my words mixed up, for the start of next video, so, game against Tampa Bay, here we go, first period, there you go, Tyson Berry, second period, there you go, Kucherov, and third period, Lapsic. all right, there you go, boys, very nice, game against Ottawa, Let's get that done. Uh, yeah, they want us to make the playoffs. So how do you expect us to make the playoffs and you expect us to get 38 wins? Huh? How does, how, how does that work? I mean, really? EA Sports logic right there, guys. I mean, <laughs> ugh, just shows the amount of things wrong with this game. Even if they're not gameplay wise, it's you know simulation or something. All right, so Carrick and Griffith, Kalorn, and there you go, Johnson in overtime. All right. Yeah, those are the only preseason games I'm gonna slow sim. I'll just quick sim the rest and get up to the tenth, and then we'll end it off there. So, uh, ooh, no, 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 no. I just saw an injury to knee ladder. No, thank you. No, thank. You. Not having that. Not having that at all. It's a good thing I saw that, man. It's a real good thing I saw that. Injuries off. And rotate goalies on. All right. <laughs> That's much better. Oh, man. An injury to Nylander. <laughs> First thing. No thank you. Am I going to have to redo the lines? Let's just see. Let's see if it screwed anything up. I don't think it did. No, it didn't. All right, good. Good. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, all right, up to the tenth now. Jesus Christ, that was that was close. That was close. <laughs> Could have been a long-term, like eight-month injury on Willie Nylander. That's not what we need. That is not what the Toronto Maple Leafs need right now. Anyway, it looks like we're coming to a close on the preseason. So with that, I will see you guys next time when we start 2018-2019 regular season.